So, yes, a few weeks ago, like two, three weeks ago, I gave you guys an update about Marge's unboxing, which we're in March right now. So, I gave you guys an update. So, yeah, uh, remember I said I was going to do an Animal Crossing plushie unboxing? Well, here it is. It is the shape of Isabel's head. I know, it's so weird. And this is my third Isabel plushie. And before I get her out of the bag, I will talk about one thing. So, my friend Selena does not like Animal Crossing because she thinks it's cringe. And I understand. I mean, I don't, like, agree with her, but that's her opinion, not mine. And I truly understand. But, yeah, um, let's go ahead and get this out of the bag. Out of the bag. I don't know why I said out of bag. But, yes, this is made by a different company. So, again, let's go ahead and get it out of the bag. In 3, 2, 1. So, this... It's called the Club Mochi Mochi. Uh, I think it's made by Tommy. That spells T-O-M-Y. And yes, this is called a Junior Plush. So I'm going to name the title Club Mochi Mochi. Mochi Mochi. Animal Crossing. Isabel Junior Plush. Unboxing Plush Review. Plus, review. I'm sorry, I'm tired. I didn't get much sleep last night. But, yeah. Um, but, here's the plushie. It's six inches. And it's a junior plush. And this unboxing and plus review is going to get 100 out of 100. Now, before I end the video, let's do a size comparison to this and the basic series 143. So, yeah, uh, going to let you guys know, I am going to unbox and review L.A. Knight's Bleacher Creature, because, well, yeah. Uh, yes, y'all know in that video I talked about, I bought three Bleacher Creatures, like, last week. One was this one, the other were the... Japanese Bleacher Creatures plushies, that's called the Kurichias, that I've been reviewing, that I haven't did a review on since, like, three months ago. So, yeah, we got LA Knight. Uh, so, how did I found out LA Knight was going to get a Bleacher Creature plush? I actually, uh, was scrolling through Bleacher Creatures. And then, he just popped up out of nowhere. I know John Cena is getting a new one that's based on his uh, September 1st, 2023 attire from SmackDown. Roman Reigns is getting, already got, got a new one that released. Rhea Ripley is getting a Kareechia based on her Judgment Day attire. A Kareechia... L.A. Knight, and that is it. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get L.A. Knight out of the bag. And three, two, one. Okay, guys. So, here is L.A. Knight out of the bag. So, what's really cool about this? Here's the picture on the tag. Really cool that L.A. Knight is finally getting a big push in WWE. So, yep, uh, very well, very well detailed. I think this is based on his NXT attire before he went to the main roster. So, yeah, um, this unboxing plus review is going to get 100 out of 100. But, anyway, guys, like, comment, subscribe. So, for my unboxing video on the LA Knight Bleacher Creature... I don't think I put the flashlight on. I think I did. I didn't. I think I did or didn't. I don't know. I will prob probably have to check after the video. 
But yeah, here is the little baggie that Deadpool is in. Um, yes, so I know y'all be wondering about my friend, uh, Jason. His name is Jigpool. He's absolutely a huge fan of Deadpool. He collects the video game, well, mostly the toys. He owns the video game, uh, everything else. So yeah, um, I hope he's watching this video because, uh, well, this is for you, Jason, and I hope you like this video, and yes, um, keep up with the, the good work. So yeah, let's go ahead and get Deadpool here out of the bag in 3, 2, 1, Thanos snap. Alrighty, guys, so here is Deadpool here. And yes, this is the Corichia plush. Um, yep. Uh, I think this was released about, I want to say around like April or May of a year ago. I don't remember. But yes, I think this one's going to be my favorite plushie the most. Because look, he has that little, um, little hooded part on there. Like the little thing on his mask like his on his outfit but yep uh anyway so check this out pretty weld with the stitches and the red on the suit feels so much slick like all the other deadpool plushies they kind of feel slick like the kid robot ones but this one is going to probably be my favorite. And then we will give it a review once we take the little tags off in three, two, one. Okay, guys. Finally took the tags off. Here is the Deadpool Corrigia plush tag. And this plush review and unboxing is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. And yes, I only bought this because, uh, Deadpool and Wolverine is coming out in theaters by the end. Well, mostly on the 26th of July. But yeah, um, anyway guys, um, this unboxing plus review is going to get a hundred out of a hundred. But anyway guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. And before I end the video, stay tuned for the unboxing of WWE 2K24, del the, the Deluxe Edition on Xbox Series X and 1. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So, yeah, I did do my unboxing video I put out there like two or an hour ago. But yeah... We are unboxing the Sami Sang Corichia. Now, we already looked at the Deadpool one, which, again, that I was talking about at the beginning from the video, which I already got that out there. Uh, the last one I looked at that was from WWE was actually Randy Orton. And that was like three months ago? So, yep, let's go ahead and get Sami Saint out of the bag in three, two, one. Just gonna let you guys know, yes, it is still raining outside. Hopefully, it will stop. If it is, will stop. So, yep, uh, here's Sami Saint out of the bag. What's really cool, he is wearing the attire from February 3rd. 2023 episode of SmackDown and everything else. And it says Sami Zayn. And look at his leg. And sorry, for, hey, I went a little bit quiet there. I lost focus. Like, loose of my mind. Like, not losing my mind. So, here's the little S for Sami and C for Zayn. Really cool. Uh, long hair. But yeah, let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what the tag looks like off. In 3, 2, 1. Here's the tag. And I just realized it says hashtag it's not a doll. 
really cool they added on their tags from Bleacher Creatures. So yep, here is the plushie without the tags on and the little hanger. So yeah, uh, this plush unboxing and review is going to get 100 out of 100. Stay tuned for another unboxing video later, guys. And I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. So yes, I filmed two unboxings this morning and put it out there a few hours ago. And yes, finally got my copy of WWE 2K24. So yes, um, like I said, if y'all didn't see the video I made about this, uh, why I didn't pre-order the game last week, because they were sold out of the copies on Xbox One for the, the Deluxe Edition. So yeah, let's go ahead and take it out of the bag and see what it looks like. In 3, 2, 1. Alrighty, guys. Here is the front. We got Bianca Belair and... We have Ripley. The standard edition has it's Cody Rhodes on the cover. Like it has Cody has Cody Rhodes on the cover for this year's game for the standard edition. There's the side. The back. Finish your story. The side again. Now let's see what we got in here. In three, two, one. Alright, guys, and yes, I took the code out of the case, which is the season pass, where you get the ECW DLC, the Post Malone and Friends DLC, the Pat McAfee DLC, and all that stuff. So yeah, this unboxing and review is going to get 100 out of 100. I hope you guys like Comment, subscribe.